in Indiana, and I'm just about to cross into Ohio, where I'm going to the grave of Annie Oakley. Annie Oakley was, well, she was really my favorite cowgirl when I was growing up. I think because of the TV show where an actress named Gail Davis played her, and, and Annie was, you know, going out there, I think, and I can't remember exactly, but probably getting the bad guys, just like, you know, Roy Rogers and the rest of them. But um, anyway, I'm going to her cemetery to say hi to her. And, um, and when I get there, I'll tell you a little story about Annie Oakley, a little more about her, and about Buffalo Bill, who, you know, she worked for, who was another one of my heroes. I think I'm lost. All right, I'm getting some clues here. I'm getting some clues. I think I'm close. Yep, I think I'm close. Yeah, there's a historical marker for Annie, and there's a grave. Man, Annie Oakley. And there's her husband over there. Now, some people say that Annie's really not buried there that she's, her ashes are buried in with Frank. But I don't know that anybody knows for sure. But, you know, at least you know you're in the vicinity. Now here's my amazing story about Annie Oakley and me. We're sort of close in a way. You see, one time I was near Cody, Wyoming and I met a man named Gerald Orr. He was sitting on his front porch. I saw him along the road, he waved and he flagged me in. Well, anyway, Gerald told me, and Gerald was, you know, probably in his 80s. He told me that when he was a little boy, he sat on the lap of Buffalo Bill. And of course, and Buffalo Bill told him to become a dentist. Well, he didn't, but I think he became a successful rancher. But anyway, Buffalo Bill, of course, hired Annie Oakley for his famous Wild West show. Annie was the sharpshooter, and she became famous. Well, because I met a man who knew Buffalo Bill, and Buffalo Bill knew Annie, then I think that makes me two degrees of separation away from the one and only Annie Oakley. So in a way, we're kind of close, Annie and me. But anyway, uh, pretty exciting to be here. So um, in the presence of Annie Oakley, who was, you know, kind of a hero of mine when I was a kid. Well, I've got to leave now. I spent some time talking to Annie, but if you want to come visit this place, it's on Highway 127 north of Greenville, Ohio. And Greenville, of course, is where Annie was born and where she came back to after she became famous and where she died in 1926. So uh, it's pretty easy to get here and uh, to see the famous Annie Oakley. Mm -hmm.